Hi everyone, I'm SJ and this is Baby Name Monday, a new baby name themed list every single Monday here on YouTube. You will love it, so do hit subscribe to follow along if you love baby names, if you are not even needed to be naming a baby to enjoy them. I'm not, I just love baby names, always have done. There's fun themes, there's different language baby names, there's bohemian baby names, there's nature baby names, water baby names, tons. I think I've done around 60 or something like this now. I'll have to think of a special one for the 100th. But today's video is a little bit different. So I'm doing 14 names that you're pronouncing wrong. I certainly struggle with these names a lot and they're gorgeous names that maybe don't get used as much because we struggle a little bit with how to exactly pronounce them, it, which is a shame and hopefully I can clear up how they're pronounced and I would love you to help me in the comments below as well how you would pronounce these. I've read lots of forums and yeah, it's a big hot topic of conversation when someone's having a baby. It's like, are you going to be able to pronounce this correctly? Were you going to spell it right? This video is also a collaboration video, so a friend of mine who herself has a gorgeous name which is very hard to pronounce is my friend Aziz Lorena. So Aziz is a Brazilian vlogger but she lives here in the UK and is fluent in English. She's done lots of English language lessons on her YouTube channel but she is a mum to two beautiful children James and Isabella. We met because we were both pregnant with Evelina and Isabella at the same time. Absolutely love following Aziz's channel. She does the most heartwarming honest conversations about so many diverse parenting topics that I just find so interesting and inspiring and always leave feeling very positive when I've left her channel. She is so lovely. Do head over and subscribe. I think you'll find her content so unique. She's doing a video of her doing the same name in both the English pronunciation and then the Portuguese pronunciation. So it's super interesting to hear how the same name can sound in different languages. I know you guys are interested in that as well because a few of you have mentioned it to me. So yes, I will link her channel below and head over to watch that video straight after this one. So, getting on with my list. And number one is a boy name, Dashiel. I've seen this name around a lot on quite a few lists and I've never been confident with how to pronounce it. And it is Dashiel. So you pronounce the middle bit quite strongly. But most people think this is Dashiel. Um, that's probably how most people were pronouncing it. Some people were even saying Deschel. People just really are unclear on how to pronounce this name. It's actually an originally a French surname and it sounds got that surname as first name cool, doesn't it? I think this name's gonna get really popular because the nickname Dash is super cool. It's obviously a Disney name as well with the Incredibles and it just suits a little boy so much. I can imagine my two boys being a Dashiel because it's just such a cool name and I love the L. I've always loved L sounding name. So yeah, it's originally a French surname name that then came over to Scotland and had a lot of pickup over in Scotland what do you think of it? Have you seen this name around or is it brand new one to you? And do you like the pronunciation? It's gone up 2,191 places in one year last year. So yes, look out for Dashiell's coming to your playground. Girls, this name has always confused me, I have to admit. It's a beautiful name and it's the name Madeline. So I love this spelling that I've put on screen and it is Madeline, but lots of people also say Madeline. I think it is a French way of saying it's often Madeline as well, no matter how you spell it. So if you do love this name, just be aware that this spelling is Madeline. If you like Madeline and you want to encourage people to use that, some parents are putting the Y in there to make that more clear because you could end up constantly correcting. Are you a Madeline? Do you have a daughter Madeline? And does this happen at all? I do genuinely find this name slightly confusing because it can be pronounced either way, can't it? It's at number 349 here in the UK, so it's being very well used, but do you say Madeline or Madeline? Yes, yeah, so for boys, a name that's getting really popular, actually this is a gender neutral name, is the name Bodhi. This is on my list I did about names about to get really popular. It is definitely one that's whizzing up through the charts right now, like wildfire. It's like a Buddhist name, it means enlightenment, so it's gorgeous, enlightenment or awakening. So beautiful, beautiful meaning, and we're so into that at the moment, aren't we? Originally this was a girl's name, and I said in that video I think it's beautiful for girls, and then the next week I met a little girl Bodhi at playgroup. So I was like, oh, that was weird, and she's gorgeous, and so yeah, it's beautiful on a little girl. People not only don't know how to to pronounce the name because it's difficult to with the weird H in it. People are spelling it differently as well. So the spelling I've got on screen is at number 225 in the UK at the moment for boys, so very high and that's 
definitely going to go up. I can even see this getting in the top 100 quite soon. But there are also nine babies who spelt it the other way around. So yeah, people are just are confused, I guess. The other interesting thing about this name is the meaning enlightenment was because Buddha sat under a Bodhi tree and that was when he had his enlightenment moment. However, when you talk to natives about how they pronounce Bodhi tree, it's body tree. So it's really interesting. So it could also be pronounced body. And a few people on forums were saying that's how they pronounce it because they wanted to do it the real traditional Buddhist way. Who knows, but it is absolutely gorgeous, lovely, lovely, bang on trend name. And it's pronounced Bodhi. Okay, so gorgeous name at number four for girls is the name Mia. So do you pronounce this Mia or do you pronounce this Maya? That is the big question because some people still spell it with the I-A but like the sound of Maya instead. And it's a word that means mine which is an absolutely beautiful meaning. So it should be Mia spelt this way, Maya really should be spelled M-A-Y-A and it's a different name altogether. But I do see people using the spelling and pronouncing it in two different ways. Have you come across that as well? So Mia, spelt like this, is at number 10 in the UK, super duper popular. And at 39 is the name Maya, spelt M-A-Y-A, which means water. And then Maya, M-Y-A, is at number 134. So yeah, we're getting a little bit confused with this name a bit, and I'm sure that it's one of those ones that gets corrected now and again. What do you think of the name Mia? The boys have always absolutely loved the name, bow and it is spelt for the way here but lots of people are confused about how to actually pronounce this or whether it is a masculine form or if it is a feminine form and we're actually using it for both boys and girls however it is masculine it's the masculine word for beautiful and it is very much linked to the male so really it is a boy's name but we are using it for girls so it's number 227 in the UK for boys if you wanted it for a girl really it should be spelt B-O as in Bo Derek as a lovely way of getting the same sound but for a girl. Interestingly enough, my son's middle name is B-O, but we pronounce it Boo, which is Scandinavian for home. Um, and that is his grandfather's name, my husband's dad's name, so that's why we've chosen it. So he is a Bo, but he's pronounced Boo. So yes, a very confusing one, but the name Bo is gorgeous. B-E-A-U for boys and B-O for girls. However, Bo spelt B-E-A-U is ranking very high for girls here in the UK. So go for what you love, to be honest. Ah, oh, this next one has caught me out so many times and it is the name L. But some people pronounce this, spelt this way, Ellie. Like my friend Ellie here on YouTube, she vlogs at a childminding mummy. She spells like this, but she puts the E hard on the end, so she's Ellie. Whereas to me, Ellie normally has the IE at the end. So I would always pronounce this L. So it should be L. It's very confusing though. Obviously people are using it both ways. Are you an L or an Ellie? Do you ever get this muddle up? It's from French and it means she, and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous name. I always think of Elle McPherson, you know, the body. <laughs> so yeah, it's a gorgeous one, but it is very often mispronounced. So probably one of the most unintelligible names of a celebrity and one that's getting used outside the celeb world is the name Joaquin. So Joaquin Felix has made this really a kind of well known but I've never really known how to say it and I've just avoided saying it and if I knew a little Joaquin it would be great because I could ask how would you like this pronounced but with Quinn being such a popular name coming up through the ranks, I wonder if this is going to get really confusing as well because you might want to say Hua Quinn or something like that and pronounce the Q because we're used to that name. So it's a very, very hard one. But it is pronounced Joaquin. In Portuguese, if you see Aziz's video, they would pronounce it more Joaquin. Oh, I can't do it. I'm not going to even try. So it does have a bit more of an exotic sound in different languages. It's only at number 3,478. And I think it would get more use if we were more confident in how to spell it and how to pronounce it. Actually, Joaquin Felix, Felix? Actually, Joaquin Phoenix was actually born Leaf. That was his real name and he changed it, so he obviously liked it. <laughs> okay, so this next one I have to confess is one that I pronounced incorrectly on one of my videos. I didn't even Google, normally I Google how to pronounce them to make sure I get it right if I'm confused, but I was just totally convinced I was right. And then lots of you commented, you're pronouncing that name totally wrong. So I wonder if anyone's actually chosen that name because of my list and then they're now pronouncing their own baby's name wrong. And I read a few forums where the people were saying, I'm pronouncing this totally incorrectly, but I don't care because it's my child and this is the way I like it. Anyway, the name is Anais, Anais, 
Anais, Anais, Anais. <laughs> I can't do it. It's Anais, and I called it Anais, which I actually really like. I prefer Anais, to be honest. I really like it, but you have the I should be pronounced Anais. It's the French form of Anna. Gorgeous, gorgeous, simple, beautiful, pretty as name. But some people also pronounce it just Anai without the strong S at the end. And people say that is how you're supposed to pronounce it. People on forums who are called that say they, that's my name, this is how I spell it, but I say an I and the S should be silent. So can anyone clear this up for us? Are you an Anais or are you an Anai or are you an Anais or an Anais? <laughs> <laughs> but the correct pronunciation is Anais. From what I have read, that's the most popular pronunciation anyway, let me know. And number nine for boys is one that just gets confusing because it is not spelt phonetically, and that is the name Sean. So people really get confused about this name, especially not native um, people from the UK. We know it quite well. And it can also be spelt phonetically with the S-H-A-W-N. But most people spell it traditionally like this and the name is Sean. So are you a Sean and have you ever had people who just really, really can't get it from just seeing it? So really popular name at number 10 for girls, one that is rising through the ranks so rapidly is the name Aria. So we would say Aria and it is the same as the music Aria and absolutely gorgeous and it's become so, so popular. Lots of characters called Aria in lots of popular TV shows, but similarly, lots of people say Aria and have a stronger a at the beginning of it. So how would you pronounce this? Aria is Italian for air, which is gorgeous, and in Italy they pronounce it aria with a strong a. So that's one way of using this name, or aria is a solo in an opera, and another way of pronouncing it, which seems to be more popular over here. Name is now at number 67 here in the UK, and I predict it's gonna be in the top 50 the next time the rankings come out, because it is spreading so much popularity at the moment. So at number Number 11 is the boy name Louis. I had to include this, obviously we have a new Prince Louis here in the UK and when his name was announced so many people were saying I've never known how to pronounce that. Do we have the S at the end? We have a very strong English name Louis which is very popular, spelled L-E-W-I-S, not popular as in used a lot but very well known and then louis the french form has just become over here a little bit more and people aren't really sure if it's spelled l-o-u-i-e it's kind of how we've kind of anglicized it a little bit to make it a bit easier on our british <laughs> type of language but louis is spelled the way that kate and will do is pronounced as i'm pronouncing it now with a silent s at the end and it is Stunning, I absolutely love this name. It means renowned warrior and it is at number 71. But as we know, Kate always makes the names go shooting through the ranks. Ah, uh, this is another one that I got wrong. So a friend of mine had a baby, called her this, and I was pronouncing it wrong for about six months. Um, and that is the name Bridie. I thought it was Breedy. I don't know why, I just always heard it as Breedy, but it is Bridie and it is a gorgeous name. It's another one that's kind of get become hipster, but it's getting much more mainstream now, so we're gonna hear this a lot more often. It's a Celtic name and it means strong, so what a gorgeous, like, vintage sounding name, but with amazing meaning. It's at number 1,525 at the moment, but as I said, it's getting used a lot more often. You're seeing it on a lot more birth announcements, and lots of forums are picking up on this name, and it is pronounced Bridey. However, I listened to a few pronunciation videos on this, and some people pronounce it Briddy, and they go like that very quick, more briddy, whereas I was saying breedy. <laughs> I was totally off, but yeah, bridey is gorgeous. Next up, a name that you may want to pick and are worried about if people are gonna pronounce it wrong. I saw this on quite a lot of forums, this concern, and that is the name Fraser. So there's two different names. There's Fraser, and then there's Fraser where you have the more sh sound. Modern parents are liking Fraser for its simplicity and its really great name. And Fraser is not as popular, it's right down in the bottom of the rankings. But people are always gonna get this pronunciation wrong and quite often might go with the je. It's a Scottish baby name and it means strawberry, which is amazing. If you really like Fraser and you don't want the name to be confused with Fraser, you could use the Z spelling is another way, then it's Fraser as in razor and it might be a bit easier for people. 
Fraser is at number 238 at the moment in the UK. So very, very popular. Fraser is only at number 3,079. And Fraser with a Z is at number 621. We like all of them pretty much, but we prefer Fraser to Fraser. So if you see that written down, don't make the mistake of thinking it's like the old American sitcom. It is not, it is very simple. Rhymes with Razor and it is Fraser. And last up is a name that was so funny reading about this name. It's one that I've always seen. It's a Scandinavian name and I've been pronouncing it wrong in my head for ages. My friend called her baby this and I was like, that is beautiful the way you're pronouncing it correctly. Wish I'd have known it earlier. Maybe I would have been on one of my lists. It would have been for definite. And that is the name Linnea. So there's a store, isn't there, if you're Scandinavian when you're watching this, or Swedish, um, called Linnea in Sweden. And I've always thought it was linear as in straight line, linear, and I just never thought much of it, but I didn't realise it was Linnea, which sounds so much more gorgeous. But interestingly enough, reading forums, there were some people on a forum called Linnea who pronounced their own name Linnea, as in Rene, um, so that's super interesting, isn't it? People are just using all different types of pronunciations for this. And it was after a Swedish botanist, Carl Linnaeus. Interestingly enough, if you actually look at the spelling of the Linnea plant, it is different and it's much easier because it's got the A in it to understand how to pronounce it like the Linnea but when it's been converted into a name that A has gone and it's more like linear so I think a great way would be if you wanted to use this and really push home the floral theme as well you could put that A back in and then it would be matching with the flower don't know why that A has disappeared I think it was because people have used different accents over the E but he knows, but yes this is a gorgeous name probably underused because we just do not understand how to pronounce it and that is the name Linnea. These are my top 14 baby names we're pronouncing wrong. I've been pronouncing wrong. I'm just putting you in my boat with me so that I don't feel alone. Do head over to Aziz's channel to hear her talk about the names that are pronounced differently in English and in Portuguese and hear lots more exciting name choices as well. Don't forget to subscribe when you are over there. She is somebody you need to get to know. You will love her little conversations and chats, honestly. And I'm always there as well on her channel so we can always catch up over there as well. Don't forget to subscribe for more Baby Name Mondays. I'm really interested to know what you think of this video because I know it's a little bit different and it's probably I'm a bit like oh I don't quite know still how to pronounce some of them so do let me know in the comments below what you think and if your name gets mispronounced if it really irritates you if you don't mind correcting it a few times if you'd rather go through that than have to do a phonetic type of spelling and which was your top name on this list share this list with a friend you think might like it if they are pregnant they would love you to send them a little baby name list and I will see you all midweek this week I have got a bohemian wedding guest haul coming up as well as some day in the life stuff with me and the kiddos so yeah hit the little bell and then you'll get little notifications as well when there's a new video from me that was a lot of info <laughs> I'll see you soon guys bye bye